University of Miami is closed for the rest of the semester. With that is all clubs and organizations. The closure includes all five of the media outlets on campus, UMTV, Distraction Magazine, The Miami Hurricane, WVUM Radio, and Orange Umbrella. UMTV faculty advisor Boriana Treadwell says that this was no surprise for her. I, I had a hunch just based on what had been going on in the world. But for Treadwell, her heart went out to the seniors on the campus's television show. You know, this is a time that they were supposed to be having parties and, and uh, spending time with friends and, and wrapping up. And I'm sure none of them were ready to, to be gone that soon in that type of manner. But UM senior and UM TV station manager Ben Ezzi says he didn't see the decision coming. For two weeks, I was pretty you know, sure that we were going to get to go back, um, looking forward to those final couple of shows or show um, in person in the studios. Um, I, you know, I live in the control room. I love uh, you know, directing broadcasts, which is um, not something you can do remotely. For two years, as he has directed UMTV's Thursday evening news program, News Vision. And when he said, I want to direct News Vision, I thought, oh no, you know, he's going to be in trouble because she can't be shy directing that show. As he went on to prove his faculty advisor wrong and took charge in the control room. Let's have some fun. Okay, everybody oh, needs to listen. Ready, Sorry, server four with sound, ready to fade to it. As he says, he will miss the people that he's made close bonds with over the years but is hopeful for the future of the station. I think the biggest thing I got out of UMTV was just close friendships and close relationships with people, um, with, with fellow students, with producers, with faculty. Um, a lot of those connections and resources um, have, have pushed me to develop and grow as a leader, as a broadcast professional, um, and as a person, and I think that's something I'm definitely going to, to miss. UM senior and managing editor of Distraction Magazine, Gabby Rosenblum, says the closure came as a large obstacle for the magazine. So we decided that we were not going to do a last issue, which was just devastating for me because there are so many things that I wanted to do and say and be a part of in terms of my last issue. Rosenblum says that she was looking forward to sending the last issue to print. You know, we always do like a little party for the seniors at the end of the last issue when we sent it to the printer. And that sucks. Um, so I remember being so excited as an underclassman, even as a junior, getting to do that and give this gift to the seniors. Uh, and I was super excited to be on the receiving end of that. Fellow UM senior co-PR manager and food director for Distraction, Elizabeth Pozzoli, says that this disruption has now put a damper on her post-graduation plans. Right now, my plan is to do some freelancing um, and working on improving like my, my skills to see, um, put myself in a better position once this all calms down. Um, but freelancing a little bit, doing some design work and whatnot too, just to have something to do. <laughs> Sports writer for the Miami Hurricane, Austin Pert, says that the members of the student-run paper are doing the best they can given the circumstances. Obviously, we're not on campus, so we can't cover campus events. We have people stationed all around the country and even all around the world that are putting articles in and uh, describing their experience in relation to the pandemic. Pert also says that summer internships that students originally had planned are now on the rocks. For example, for me, I'm set to uh, intern with a summer baseball league in Wisconsin. But if there's no baseball, if there's no sports because of the pandemic, then there's no internship for me and plenty of other people. UM senior and WVUM general manager Josh White says that the station has had to give up some quality for the greater good. But we decided in times like this it's okay if we give up a little on the broadcast quality and we try and still broadcast live programming or even if it's pre-recorded. White says that it'll be the little things he will miss most as he heads on to his next adventure. To me things that I really miss is just preparing for games, learning different things, um, showing up to the ballpark, and saying hello to the same security guards I've seen for three, four years of, of walking in, giving them hugs, saying hello, um, kind of taking the same elevator up, walking into the press box, saying hello to the same people. It's kind of those little things uh, that I miss. UM senior and WVUM broadcaster Danny LaRose says that between school life, sports culture, and announcing, there's no better combo. So, I mean, it was perfect trifecta. And I'm really thankful for that. And I'm happy for the experiences I got out of it, the places I was able to go, the people I was able to meet, the players I was able to connect with. 
but also the uh, just the the ability to do that as a college student is you know amazing. Because that's all we play on WVUM ninety point five FM. UM senior and Orange Umbrella VP of Client Management and PR, Maxim Fisher, says that it's going to be his friends that he will miss more than anything. I'm just going to miss them and everything that they bring to the table every week. I'm going to miss seeing them every week. It's just, I don't know, it's just unfortunate that we have to go out this way. So I'm going to miss them for sure. OU faculty advisor MJ Barnes says it's a process for all. It's a loss and like you start to kind of grieve the process, but then you just realize like, okay, this is life. Let's you know, enjoy the things we can and move on. UM senior and OU copywriter Alina Katrin has a message for the next generation. I think if you can, definitely try to be as involved as possible because you will learn so much, you will grow a lot, and you will meet so many cool people, whether they're Orange or Bullet students or clients. So if I can give one piece of advice, that would be it. The seniors are set to have their official graduation in December but they'll be walking away this month with experiences that they would not have gotten anywhere else.